So, let's, let, well, ain't, ain't no reason to waste while you're here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, let's yeah. tell people where they can find you. Where they can find that, you, yeah. your IG, you know. I yeah. know you're going to be at Center Stage soon. Yeah, you can guys, you can find me on all platforms. Um, IG as um, UK to UK the Joker on, all together. I don't want to really put no under like uh, no no underscore no hyphen. Just put UK the Joker all together at UK the Joker at UK um Instagram. Um, and then of course you can find me on all music platforms globally, regardless of the fact. Um, and yeah. Docs on Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> Unsolicited opinions. Ooh, I love those. Come on, nigga, let's go. I've been waiting. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. I don't. I don't, I don't, be want, a, I don't no, I'm just playing. I don't want your, stalk, I don't I don't want your like, stalkers be plotting. <laughs> hey, I, if they if they come up there just for me, I mean, but by all means, let them come over there. That way, they can show more artistry over there besides myself. Oh God, come so, over there. So you saying my man Chris can't sing? Man, he's saying? saying it's a whole bunch of garbage ass niggas. <laughs> I didn't see say. <laughs> see, I, he was looking. He was looking at you when he said. Sensitive ass. Oh, I stopped singing. I don't sing no more. But what? the fact of the matter is, I like, don't sing no more. Why? Yeah. Hold like, on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, UK. <laughs> this is a more pressing issue. <laughs> I don't sing oh, no more. Oh, please continue. Please continue. Why you don't sing no please more? Please continue. Okay. All right. You know, what's what's your problem? <laughs> My problem is not enough women. I had too many guys coming up to me asking me if I was gonna sing tonight, and a couple times I called. Guys videoing me while I was singing. And I was like, what you going to do with this video? <laughs> Are you, gonna, you you ain't about to go show this to your lady. You know what you're going to do? Go, <laughs> go, go home with Quasimodo. <laughs> Sanctuary. Sanctuary. <laughs> Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Like, I'm, not, I'm not singing to y'all. I was like, so I don't sing no more. Sanctuary. Really? No, <laughs> because so you had male groupies, they videotaping you. It made you feel uncomfortable? Man, you, you going to sing my song tonight? You going to sing? I was like. What's your song, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not singing to you. <laughs> or for you. You didn't tell me this. You didn't tell me this. This I is had, funny. I had to stop singing. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it ain't happened to UK. Huh? No, it has not. <laughs> well, he's unknown. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> no, but he does a good job when he comes with the karaoke. Yeah, he, he, he turned it out. That, yeah, shouts out to... um. Chastar Star, who's be coming up there from sometimes, sometimes. Shouts out to yeah, I'm coming. To the I'm, mayor. I'm coming. To, well, I'm not gonna say that. Shouts out to the mayor because I remember I used to do uh, collabs with him. And then <laughs> That's before they started stalking me. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing better than a barroom collab. <laughs> it's karaoke. Y'all missing out. Like, Y'all really missing out. There's nothing like, like, like two drunk niggas on a microphone we used to all with, collabing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With, with Pierre, yeah, and Pierre will always want me to just do the high notes. Yep, because we couldn't hit it. Oh, Pierre just high notes. No, no, yeah. no, no. This motherfucker too, though. Let me let me talk about let me talk about UK right here. Uh huh. We be like, hey man, we get ready to do shy, right? He know we need him for the high yeah, notes. All right, what's what's shy song? Um, and if I ever fall, if I fall, in fall in love, love fall in love. So we he know we need him for the high note, right? Right. He always be like, I don't know, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna <laughs> do it, right? And then y'all start doing it, right? Then we start doing it anyway. And he show up like Eddie Kane, he just slide, slide, slide across in. the stage. And he hit the fuck out that high note, but 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 like he just wanted us to ask him. Yeah, he was. He was here. He was like Calvin, man, you gonna do the yeah. note for us? I don't know, man. I don't know. If he he said, man, he ain't like I come to see you, Otis. He said, he like I feel like y'all using me. You feel like y'all using me, man? Because y'all do all the other verses. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't let me sing nothing else. Y'all don't see nothing else for the high shit. That's all y'all need before. And then y'all just be like, I fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And then when y'all get there, and he so didn't finish it. We'd be like, give me that mic. Right, right, right. <laughs> get to the back background sticker saying the back, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good shit, good shit. But let me. It's my time now. It's my time. Move, move, move. Yeah. No, we fade away when it's time. We be like, all right, here you go, coward. Yeah. As soon as that nigga take that last breath and let that note go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> give me that mic back. Fire. <laughs> 
you that mic back. Nigga, you done. You didn't sign you up done. for this shit. You didn't sign up nigga, for this Nigga, you said, we said maybe like an hour ago, nigga. <laughs> Humbly. I was ready to hit this note. You had me out here ready to hit this Humbly note. Humbly out of love. Y'all ain't shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't cut this gonna swoop in at the last second and hit these notes. Humbly was, but out of love. But that's what he would do it. Shit. But he would kill the shit. He you know how much crown, you know much crown I had to drink to get ready to hit this note? <laughs> I was ready to do it too. And that's one of the most kickers about being an artist, especially when you just, you know, just chaperoning your gift to karaoke. Because when you start doing a lot of karaoke, like shit, at the end of the day, when you're trying to get your artistry up, the people that know you outside of us, you know what I'm saying? Right. Either they're going to, either they'll gamble on what they believe is right for them or they believe is right for you. So at the end of the day, they're always going to have Monday, regardless of that fact. That's true. And that's one of the most craziest kickers about being an artist, especially when you're doing a karaoke song that everybody knows, especially you. Well, you, should, you should get up and do one of your joints and see what happened. Yeah, that, but that would be a thing. But the crazy part is... is it's that gone karaoke. It's gone karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> and your ego will be shattered. <laughs> you got to say when you're sitting there, you there. I mean, no. but that would, that would if, 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 if that ever happened, I can't see that happening. But if it <laughs> did happen, it would just be because they didn't recognize they the was hate, They just hate. Yeah. hate it, right? But the kicker is, is that they will always know that I'm always up there. Ha, has the ever has the fight ever started because of the gong? Because I was I always thought it was a bad idea. I to never have gong, seen it to have gong karaoke in a bar where people are drinking and you know motherfuckers be like catch feelings like why you ain't like my song you know what I'm saying you gone I, over there. Like, I haven't seen a fight but I've seen close for the past three or four years I've never seen somebody you get be, into they, a they, fight or not, not even get into a fight or, or, or even have words be like no right. bitch, I've seen why, words you seen words like bitch why you gone my song yeah now, trash. It, it used to be <laughs> nah, ain't up there like no it. more I think they made I think I think they made him leave what but it used to be this big dude <laughs> he went out and spent money and had a he had a sweatshirt and on the back of it it said Gong Master and he had a big gong <laughs> over there. Nah, nah, nah. I, did, I did not know this. I did not know this. And he used to gong everybody. Like you had to be everybody. like you had to be like Michael Jackson and not get gong. I mean, it was it was just up to him, but he was big. He was like six five. He was big. And dogs? Yeah. So he was. He, so he, you really couldn't huff wow. and puff on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You be like. Oh, okay, but yeah, well, it was kind of bad. But, <laughs> but but these girls got him. Yeah, huh? These girls got him because it was like five upset girls, and you know he couldn't do nothing to them, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's five upset women cussing him out. You get your ass up there and sing, yeah. So he, he was just dead. like he just lived just for the gong. Like he, and then, uh, yeah, he he was he was just in it for the whole for the his, gong. He, he would drink he, and good, gong, good or bad. He was gonging you, drinking gong. I mean, he didn't gong everybody, but. Crack a note. Okay, <laughs> hey, one, one, one note, one note, one note. All you get is one, one note, note, one note. <laughs> and the gong master. Oh, this nigga done. And he would walk. He would sit over there <laughs> in the booth. Right. Um, closest to like the pool table area. Oh, so he, so he, he got all water. So he can see him all all coming. Out there. So, so you, you, your, psych, there. your psyche fucked him. Like, oh my God, come on, master. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. He's oh coming. God. Girl, sing. Sing, girl, sing. Sing. Sing it all the way. They, they looking in the back. They're like, girl, sing girl, sing girl. All He's all coming. Way. He's coming. All the way. <laughs> he walked clear across the room. And gone the fuck out of somebody. That, really that, that, would, that would piss me off, too. And I think I think they... Either he got threw out for some reason, or they told him you can't do they, that. There was like a new rule: like if you gone three people, then you gotta sing. Oh, that's a good rule. That's a good yeah. rule. That's, that's, that's a good. That, that's, that's, that's a good ass rule. rule. That's, that's a good ass. Rule. Rule. Yeah, I think like that's you gone rule. three people, you get up there and sing. If you gone, that's him, that's motherfuckers. A good ass rule. That's a good rule. I like that, that I rule. That. I love that rule. I, I think, think it should be two people. I think you gone two people. You should guys get up there and sing. I think that's a new rule, though. No, actually, if you just gone, if you gone with somebody, then you get up there and sing. That should be the rule. Or sing the exact yeah, if same you song. They say they were singing. They were singing. Could you do it then? Because the reality and is, that would stop everybody from gone if they had to. Nah, do it. not really. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it'd be people begging other people to go. But well, why you don't go? Well, I got to sing later. Yeah, I don't want to go on. Them I don't want to go on them because I got to sing. Yeah, I, I want to sing later. Them. So they be bargaining with people. Hey man, five dollars. I give you. Yeah. Five dollars, go ahead, go there, bitch. You know, the <laughs> fact with the messed up part about this, people Them actually is crying. make me sing a certain song for five or ten dollars just so they could actually talk to a girl, and that was actually I find that fascinating. Because hold on, somebody somebody paid you to sing a ballad for a girl? No, no, they paid me to sing a ballad so they can make a move on the girl. 
So while he's that, singing, that. like 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 he all, this nigga automatically think he had a concert. Hey That's, man, I'm gonna pay you five dollars, and yeah, while you crooning, why? I'm gonna go holla at her. Well, she ain't paying attention. Nigga, to why? Why? Hold on, my first Bats. question: Why you didn't record this? That's my first question. Because <laughs> <laughs> this would be good. This would give it gold. Nigga, you be platinum on YouTube. You recorded this. That would be yeah. My that, second question true. is: What song did you sing? <laughs> Me and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> so you sang you sang a song about hooking up with a stranger no, that you know we got a thing going on, but you know have, that is wrong. Uh, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Like, I sung a song with being the neighbor. You hooking up with a neighbor? It's, it's a side bitch. It's a side bitch song. I was singing a song being a side dude, and then it was either that or uh, D'Angelo uh, Untitled. How does it feel? So well, Untitled Unknown. That's probably so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of close. <laughs> so okay, my next question. My next question is: What happened? So how did this transpire? So a dude came to you and was like, yo, I want you to sing background while I try to romance this girl. No, he didn't want him to sing background. He wanted him to sing the song. So, s- see, he lied earlier. Because it's the same thing. The nigga's coming up to you talking about, hey, man, when you going to sing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> talking about that ain't never happened to him. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. But it's the thing, thing is, is women, like, wait, women will ask me if I'm singing on Mondays, but when the dudes ask me, they always give me money in regards of them making the next move. In regards Are to you the girl a karaoke interested. jiggalo? What do you mean to give you money? You sound like, like, like a karaoke ho. Is this a, <laughs> hold on. Is this a revenue stream that I don't know about? Because can you I sing? Don't. Can you get money to sing karaoke? I, hold the fuck up. <laughs> but the thing, at that time, I wasn't really like, I wasn't really like mad because I was getting paid. In the <laughs> <I> mean, <right? laughs> yeah, that make it is better. Hold on, 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 hold on. I can't turn down like ten, twenty dollars. Like you know what I'm saying. Just sing a song you already know you know how to sing. Yeah, and shit. Exactly. This nigga the buggy nice to carry hooky. We go. Hey, hey, you here from the Birmingham pool? Hey, can you sing? <laughs> Come on in here, sing. Come on in here. <laughs> While you singing, we gonna have this bitch on some skates. You know, skates. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. My stomach hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Let me see. The more you kept talking, I was like, "Just you're not making it better. You're not making it better. Not you're not making it better." <laughs> Niggas asking you to sing. Niggas asking you to sing. Hey, are you getting hold out for yo. your singing? I give you ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> yo. The, hey, get in the back of this limo and sing. <laughs> yo. Oh my god, you hit the eight, you hit the eight flat like a motherfucker. Hey, but I mean, <laughs> but how does that even help them? I would assume that the girl is paying more attention to you because you singing. No, that like well, based off of the bar that I actually went to, like they really give less. Two shits about the person singing. They just care about the voice. They care less about the person that was they actually singing. They probably couldn't see your ass. That's all. <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> He's in the shadows. The shadows. <laughs> singing to you from the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, listen to me. We are, ki- we are ki- we're killing your brand right now on live. We're killing your brand. We're just killing it. I'm just killing it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I fucks with it. <laughs> I fucked with because I know y'all personally, so it's kind of like yeah, no, I'm okay not, with it. Yeah, we're not. Fucking, I'm yeah. literally okay with nah, it. Nah, we, you know, you, we, we you got our full support. Well, actually, what you're doing is showing people the funny side. It's uh, cool. You're showing people the funny side of you. I'm not side. even knocking. It's like no, I have been hit up by so many people that was trying to make up acronyms for my nickname. <laughs> Ultra Quinta's the winner. <laughs> Ultra Kunta is what's sticking. Ultra Kunta killed me. Ultra Kunta is a winner. Ultra Kunta killed the fuck out of me. He is here for all civil rights. (laughs) You're lucky I already made your t shirt. (laughs) Oh my God. Oh, yes. Fuck that. We're making making Ultra Kunta t shirt. Ultra Kunta. Hell no. Hell no. Ultra Kunta. I want you to have an Ultra Kunta t shirt, nigga. I want you to have an Ultra Kunta t shirt. I wish y'all unstable creature make that BS. Man. With a whip, with a whip, with a whip. My name Kunta. is not Toby. It's Ultra Kunta, nigga. <laughs> Ultra Kunta. <laughs> I'm here to free everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh my face hurts. You gonna be the Iron Man? You gonna be the Iron Man? You gonna be Iron Man? My face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, gonna, he, gonna, he gonna morph out. He got like a bunch of whips coming from his hand. I'm Ultra Kunta. <laughs> like, I'm Ultra Kunta. <laughs> You're all dead. 
Slave masters. Why the fuck y'all? Y'all literally made me sound like I'm famous for the hand cannon. What the hell? And then his go-to weapon, like out of his hand, spawns a thousand whips. Just start whipping everybody to death. Y'all will literally, literally turn me from Black Panther to Roots. All in one, uh, all one, one episode. One episode. All in one superhero. I got all special powers governed by Roots. <laughs> Welcome to Unsolicited Opinions. <laughs> What we create. What we, uh, what we create. <laughs> what we create. Yeah, we gave you it was like Voila. we told you we was gonna talk about stuff. We just didn't tell you this kind of stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Y'all silly. Oh I fuck my with. god. Oh my god. But shouts out to all the people that I've been rocking with ever since I've been doing this music thing. Uh shouts out to um a uh, new wave vibe in regards of uh El Fusa. Um play E Sushi. Literally that's what it's like you know, P S V. I was about to say who you collab with. I was about to say yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If he yes, and um, shouts out to um, uh, DM photos, um, aka uh, Macy Lamar. He ain't related to Kendrick at all. Um, you know, shouts out to uh, he just stole his little thunder. <laughs> he could have played he with that, that man. <laughs> He had to tell him he that. He's from the South. Well, I'm just fuck with him. So. I'll fuck with him no hard. Now he, now he gonna be unknown too. <laughs> UK one and UK two, <laughs> y'all hell. Yeah, he I just, rock you with just it. messed up all his pussy. You messed up all his shit. Oh, he always he, trust, he, me, he, probably, he, trust me. He get yeah. trust me. He get asked by a buttload regardless of the fact. It's oh, just, see now you snitch. It's too late now. <laughs> you snitching. I now. mean, he I mean he gets he gets played from a, a lot of music, so, it, so. It, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Macy Lamar, man. Uh, Macy Elf, not related to not related to Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that train is over, homie. <laughs> <laughs> have to work off your own name now. <laughs> you hell, but yeah, um, El Fuser, um, he he's a, he's a real good guy. Um, I've been I've been rocking with him for a while. Um, shouts out to uh, you know, saying shouts out to Stacy. Shouts out to you know a lot of other people. Even uh, Uriah, uh, Uriah have gave me a good um outlet of uh, a lot of different music that was coming through. <laughs> Sounds out to Maine. I already knew I was Because you're high. That's <laughs> Either way. Yeah. But okay, well, let me ask you this. How yeah. long does it take you? All right, like, let's say you're, you, you, you're going to put out a project. Mm -hmm. And what's your average? Is it eight songs, ten songs? What's, what's your average when you put something out? I mean, usually it takes me like, I have like ten songs already good to go. <laughs> Don't okay, but how long would that process take to get it, those ten songs where you're ready to, you know, before you release them? The minimum is ninety days. Depends if the lights are on or not. Ninety days. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I got you. I know you got to come back for that. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so about ninety days. Yeah. And that's you doing everything. Yeah. That's you writing. Like when arranging. I because when I write, I the way I write, I literally choreograph everything on paper so when i actually make my lyrics i actually make the tempo the actual key the actual title and then last but not least the actual tempo of how the lyrics supposed to be rather especially when the lyrics has to match the tempo of the music so and so who would you list as your influences oh man shouts out to most deaf most F has been my influence for like i think i love most F. years black star I I tyler quality like, yeah like that yeah, most of the time, Lil Kweli, J-Electronica. Yassine Bey. Yassine Bey. That's what you refer to uh, now. J-Electronica. That has been my guy way before um, Exhibit A. So let me, let me ask you this. What what happened or what was the catalyst for you to be like, you know what, I'm going to do this music thing. Like, I'm just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pursue it. like Because a lot of people have a dream of being in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. What was the catalyst for you to be like, I'm going to give it all I got, and I'm going to go ahead and go for it. I'm going to do this. There was this guy. When, when I was coming up into being an artist, this guy, all he did was literally had a guitar. And, I mean, homeless cat. This guy, all he had was guitar, and he just made music. And I was in the military. He All he did was make music. I used to go there every Sunday, every Sunday, 3 p.m., to literally hear what type of song he made. And the only thing I did at that time was How old were you doing this time? I was literally 21 at that time. And very impressionable. <laughs> so 
With that being said, I used to go to American Village at that time. I was in Okinawa, Japan when I was in the military, Marine Corps. Uh, shout out to all of my people that was in 3rd Marine Division, um, Camp Schwab, Camp Hanson, Camp Courtney. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Rah. That's the that's Marine. Yeah, we yeah. rah. We hood. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. Shouts out to oh. Yeah. Shouts out to <laughs> shouts out to Gaskin. Uh shouts out to my boy E and Thor. I have I you know I'm mean, talk to him all the time. Shout out to my boy uh, my homeboy uh Parrish. Um that's up in Texas doing his thing. Um and then of course you have the third Marine Division, Combat Assault Battalion, aka Iron Fist. These are all over the place. So So hi I, back to the music. Oh, okay, I'm back to the okay, I'm back to the music. This guy, he always played a unique, a unique song, but it was in Japanese, and then he always Americanized it by bringing in a lot of English, um, like, like English lyrics. Okay. So what I did was I used to always ad lib his English lyrics with my lyrics, in which it brought a lot of people over when you was in America. So you Oklahoma. was so you was busking, you was busking out, like you was performing on the street in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. It, like you was out there performing. I was out there performing. That's I mean, that's that catches a lot of nuts. One of the most yeah. coolest things I seen out of all of that was that um um it was it was the artistry I met on on top of that. So I met a lot of unique rough drafts of different artists that was actually getting I mean, inspired. The Asian music people. culture is highly influenced by the American music culture. Indefinitely. It is. It Indefinitely. Is. Well, the, well the, let me take that back. The Japanese. The Japanese. The Japanese uh, like, music culture has, we have a lot of influence from the American culture. Yeah, like Sabre June is one of those guys that actually inspired a lot of hip hop artists in Japan, AKA New Japes, in which he also produced this anime called uh, Samurai Champloo in which Samurai Champloo was the actual mixture between hip-hop and jazz. Samurai Shampoo or Samurai Shampoo? Samurai Shampoo. Is it C-H-A-M-P-L-O-O. Samurai Champloo. This might be beyond our audience. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you guys should check it up on Funimation, on a Funimation app where you can just look it up. You, know, you and, look at all the anime. I mean, that was the dopest. Like that was like he had the one of the most dopest production I've ever heard. So this guy inspired you to take a chance in the music business. Yeah, and then last but not least, um, I used to always listen to uh, Kanye West and uh, Most Def, even when in the '90s when he had the the most definite. He was called. Right. He was considering himself the most definite at that time. Right. It was before Miss Fat. I, I Booty. like my, uh, before Miss Fat Booty. Miss way Miss Fat. I, I remember hearing from. Uh, After tra- Black Star and in between Miss Pat Booty. I remember him from Traveling Man. Like when Traveling Man came out, this is before Umi says. I love Umi says. And then we I listened had, to that today. And then we had Talil Kwali. I remember Talil Kwali before um he nicknamed himself Reflection Eternal. That was the name of the album. Yeah. And then he actually named himself that album. It's better so, than a known. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you bastards. <laughs> you light skinned dirty bastards. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And it got him. Got him. <laughs> As you see, the lights is on their asses, and I, it's not on me. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but it's, I get it. I'm fucking with you, man. Go ahead. One love. But um, hands down. Um, Japan can gave me the inspiration to actually expand my music street um, my, as a way for my artist production and things of that nature because I was still trying to find my way, especially right. when it came to my essence of being in the public speaking realm because I also had to kind of like get that up to date, especially when I was kind of like going through my music, my, uh, my musician. Let me ask you this. What, so, what genre of music you think your style fits into? Like what if somebody I know that's that's a tough question. That's a tough question. It's, yeah, because you it's got a tough question because he's got some I hip-hop, listen, yeah, yeah. You got hip hop, you got but, some R and B. But if they had to if if somebody had to categorize you, where would you say you most fit into? Probably world. The, world music? World music. I can see that. 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 Yeah, world. I can see that. That's a good ass answer. It's a possibility world because it's a conglomerate of a lot of different entities, and not to mention, I play your, your experiences through life. Your uh, life experiences. I, absolutely, like there was a song called "Mama Mama," and the crazy part about that is it's actually Marine Corps cadence, and I just turned it the Marine Corps cadence into, into a, a song. song. <laughs> 
And a lot of people in the Marine Corps, they actually rocked with it until I heard a lot of people who actually, like, viewed it and they actually appreciate it a little bit more. But some of them actually understood, like, even though it's a beautiful production, right. the fact of the matter is that lyrics alone, is it was too basic until they meet a lot of uh, like inspired military people that was willing to actually make a remix for it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy uh, Torquez, who actually wanted to do a remix for it. You know what I'm saying? Torquez in the building! Torquez, man. That's that's a dope name, Torquez. Yeah, man. I like that name. It ain't doper than that cat whose last name was Thor he mentioned. Not to did, he, did he mention somebody? I missed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ian, was, yeah, Ian, like my I boy Ian Thor. Thor. Ian yeah, his, Thor. Middle na- his middle name is Thor. So I, like, me and him has been best <laughs> friends for years. Oh, my God. I rock with him. <laughs> Like, I rock with this dude, like, because he's actually a guitarist. What's your name, baby? Thor, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want this hammer later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he is, like, one of the most interesting guitarists I've ever met in my entire oh, life. Oh, and he played guitar? Oh, my he, God. He got the hammer guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, throw the ha- <laughs> he literally throw the hammer down. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And he's one of those guys that actually. I mean, is, dude, hold on, he making this. He's, he's like making a, a Thor, like a, and he plays the guitar. He's like an '80s team movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. big you know, ass so. hair and shit. Come yeah, out man. <laughs> yeah. What's um, your name? I'm Thor. I'm Thor. King of Guitar. <laughs> the mighty. Watch me drop this lightning on y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all saw that. <laughs> So, hey, Calvin, Yo. UK to Joke, I would like to thank you for coming on Unsolicited Opinions. Thank you, man. All right, we want to thank UK the Joker for wow. coming out and checking My us man. out. Y'all wow. make sure y'all check him out on so, all the platforms. He's on Spotify. Boom. He's on, what is it, Apple? Boom. I'm on Apple, Spotify. Boom. I'm on YouTube. Boom. I'm on Over Global, Boom. all type of ideas. Win out. He's on iTunes, all places. Apple, SoundCloud too, right? SoundCloud, SoundCloud as well. Check him out. Check him out. UK the Joker put it all together. It's I even sad. have an old ass song called Abstract Pain when the first time I ever got broken up by a virgin. That was actually interesting. This nigga, wait, this nigga <laughs> waited till this time to say that shit. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but y'all go check it out yeah. and make sure you check us out next Thursday. We see y'all soon. So, so, so listen <laughs> Hey, this is Rick Joyner of the Rick Joyner Experience, and you're listening to Unsolicited Opinions.